Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do this review on the Ofra Pro Palette. This is the Holiday Glow Palette and do you need it? What did I rank it from a 1 to 10? So if you want to know how I feel about this palette, you're going to have to stay tuned. <laughs> but <laughs> spoiler alert, because I always do some kind of spoiler alert, they did get a one point deduction what would the one point deduction be for? You're going to find out in this video. And also, do you need the Ofra Pro Palette Holiday Collection in your arsenal? You're also going to find that out today. You're going to see how I put together this eye look. And really and truthfully, for the holidays, I wanted to do something that was fun for a evening out with some shimmer and some sparkle because we all know when the holidays get here, glitter and shine and all that kind of beautiful goodness comes out. And so I wanted to be able to have a wearable night look that isn't too over the top, but still kind of comfortable and fun. So anyways, I hope you are getting ready to enjoy this video. Okay, let's video. get started. So this is the Ofra Holiday Palette and I've been real excited. I saw this and I was like, I need it. I need it in my life. I've got to try it because BoxyCharm over the years, over the year, not years, has sent some Ofra products in their boxes from time to time. In fact, I keep this bad boy right here on my um, easy to grab. It's the Rodeo Drive highlighter. I love it. And their eyeshadows are amazing. So again, when I saw this, I think it was... It's either Ulta or Sephora, right? I had to have it. So I'll figure out which one I had gotten it from and then get back with you. But the eyeshadows, everything pops out really easy if you need it. It comes, I like this. It's got the names on it, but it's a little clear bit that just fits right over the top. I think that's great for traveling. It will keep the, the any of the fallout kind of contained. It's really like that. It does have a mirror. Hello world. Now you can see how messy my stuff is. Mm, messy. Um, so this little palette is just awesome. It's the Holiday Glow Palette. And you know, let's get our glow on. <sighs> so today I am, I do have my lips from BoxyCharm. They just sent it yesterday and underneath I used the Prosecco Pop under my uh, base, which was the Natasha Denono. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. So I have that slightly underneath just to give a glow to the matte foundation. And that's why I do like that. But that's a whole nother discussion as far as BoxyCharm goes. I'm sure you're gonna see that later. Okay, so we're gonna start out with this bronzer here, which is called the Americano Bronzer. I think that's just a pretty color. And I'm gonna use this month's subscription for Morphe, which is the Fight Like a Girl. Look at how pretty and pink those are. I wish they would do more Fight Like a Girls because I would have to have all of them. Ooh, look at that pigmentation. Whoa. Okay, so I'm guessing with as pigmented as this is, that this is gonna work on all skin types. So for me, I'm gonna have to blend it out a bit because, hello, sunshine. We have a pigment and highlighter, Americano Bronzer Desert. Yeah, this is a great, this has got some pigmentation. So I'm gonna try to get rid of this double chin. I really need to work out, but oh, it's so much easier to bronze it. <laughs> okay. I am not sure what color to go with on the cheeks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one here, which is pink satin on the apples. Ooh, look at them apples, them are pink. Those would be pink lady apples, if it was really an apple. So again, good pigmentation there. And now we're gonna get to this little highlighter. Although this isn't a highlighter brush, um, I'm gonna use it like one because I can. 
So we're going to pick up some of this highlighter and this is called Blissful. And I've barely picked up any. This is why I love Ofra. So if you like looking, bam, like the starry sky at night, I mean, check that out. That is just gorgeous. Hello, people. And I'm only tapping it, which is even better. I didn't swipe hard. I didn't, nothing. I just boop and boop and wow. Hello, it's fantastic. But that is just stunning. So now you're seeing why I like Ofra. And I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do for the eye look today. But I think I'm going to actually start backwards and we are going to start with this color here, which is called Winterberry. I, I just love reds. I just love reds. So I'm going to start with Winterberry on my new angled brush from Morphe that is pink. And I'm going to start with eyeliner today. I normally start with the top of my eye, but I don't know. We're just shaking it up because we can. So Winterberry went on nice. Love it. This does have fallout, which what doesn't? Okay, decisions, decisions. Mm. I think I'm going to take a mix of this color called Millennium Gold and Essential. And that I think is going to be my transition. See how pretty those go on? Look, ooh, ah, it's pretty. Now I think we're just gonna take the color Millennium Gold and kind of do the inner third of the eye. Then we're gonna pick up this color here car called Bark. And I guess the dogs took that literal. Sorry about a brief inter um, interruption. I will not use the B-A-R-K word again. So this color is not as dark as it is in the pan. So this is actually a nice buildable brown. And all the colors are blending really nice. I hope you can see that on camera. Next, we are going to do, hmm. I think we're gonna pick up this color black and it's called triple black. So let's see how black cubed is going to do for us. So weird having most of my dogs together again um, after being split apart for so long. I've gotten used to only having a couple. For the people that know me know I rescue so I have maybe more than a couple and it's funny because they all have like their little personalities which are so freaking adorable and they're so good i mean i just love my little fur faces by the way all i'm doing is blending i was editing a video i know i'm going off on a rabbit trail after i was just talking about my dogs but i was like holy crud did you not pick up a blending brush now, I'm still releasing that video because I like the way that the look came out. I just forgot to blend the colors. <laughs> I'm trying to think of which video it is. But yeah, it's it's pretty... Oh my gosh, I was supposed to release it this morning, actually. So, I'm cracking up because I should have basically blended and I didn't blend. Mm -mm. Nope, I didn't. But I still like how the colors looked against each other. They just needed a good blend. I'm picking back up this Essential and Millennium Gold just to put back in what I may have just blended out. That Triple Black is buildable also, which is nice. So all the colors probably are not, these two are not as dark as they are going on, but I'm using a light hand and I'm building up, so that's good. Although if you're looking for the hardcore brown, the B-A-R-K to be a hardcore dark brown, you know, you guys saw it, it's buildable. Same thing with the triple black or black cubed as I like to crack myself up. Now we are going to use, uh, the final color is called Plastic, this white one here. 
And I'm just gonna place that under the brow bone. Now this is very shimmery, which is fun. And you know, with this being a holiday palette, holidays are meant for sparkle and shine and just loveliness. So this actually is a fun palette because it does have that. And normally you hear me poo poo, I'm over shimmers, etc. But the reason why I like this palette is it does have some good base colors. You could actually use these for additional eyeshadows. I think they've got great pigmentation that'll be able to hold as an eyeshadow. And voila! I think I'm going to try to go a little bit darker on, I think that's the Winterberry, underneath. I love me some reds and yellows. I just cut through these different stages. Now I want to pick up a bit of Gold Rush. Or do I want Bohemian? You know what? I'm going to go a little darker today. I'm going to pick up this Bohemian color. Because this is going to give it a little bit darker. So this will probably be a lot better for night. If I wanted to go a little bit more, still be party-esque, but for a daytime party, I would probably pick up this Gold Rush on the center of the lid. But this, we're, we're just going to do a night look. How about that? All right. Way to go, Oprah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes off cam camera. I'm going to do some eyeliner and if I can find some falsies, some falsies. Thank you so much for watching this video today on the Ofra Holiday Glow Palette. I hope you got some inspiration from this Holiday Glow Palette because I sure did. I really like this. Um, I'm not sure if Ofra has done these before and this is the Pro Palette but I have been missing out my whole life is all I gotta say. I do have some Ofra products as I mentioned earlier and I do love this brand. I think they do a jam up job. It's, but to have it like this whole pro palette all in one, oh my god, I freaking love it. So on a scale of one to ten, how do I feel about this palette? I would say it's a firm nine. Firm nine. The only reason why they got one point deduction is because <laughs> these two are not as dark when you go to put them on as what they are in the pan. So if you're looking and you're gonna buy this because you're just drooling over these colors, which I did because I love dark smoky eyes, dark colors, dark whatever. Um, it's just, it's what I love. So anyways, that they got a point deduction. They got a point deduction because those are not as dark as what they look like in the pan. So if you were after the palette for those colors and you just were overwhelmed and were drooling over it, just know those are going to be a buildable. They're not bark and triple black are just not as dark when you go to put them on. So other than that, I think it's a solid nine. I would absolutely repurchase this again. So I'm hoping that that helps you with your holiday shopping. Again, this eye look was more for an evening look, even though it's still very much morning. But I, I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's beautiful. It's sleek. As I mentioned earlier, I love the mirror. I love the colors. I just love everything about this palette, except the one point deduction. Anyways. I hope you had a great time watching this video. Please leave some of your comments, thoughts, questions, whatevs below. I always love hearing from you all. Um, so please leave your thoughts below and you have a choice. So let's make it a great one. Until next time.